All right, one of the first things I do when I walk onto a floor is I want to assess how hard the concrete is. That's important because I'll be able to match the correct bond of diamond to the hardness of concrete. And this is how we do that. We use a test called a Mohs Hardness Kit test, or what we also call it as a scratch test, because essentially that's what we're trying to do, is put scratches in the floor with different hardness pins. Let's take a look. Inside your Mohs Hardness test, you have four different pins with eight different hardnesses. Number nine being the hardest, number two being the softest, which is plastic. What we're trying to do is make a scratch in the concrete. You're just going to hold it like a pencil and actually put, apply about the same amount of pressure as you would as writing. You don't want to go straight down just as you're using a pen. All right, I like to start with the number nine. Since it's the hardest, it should always, almost always make a scratch in the concrete. Essentially, what we're going to do is just make a slight mark across the concrete. Now, as we can see and even hear and I could feel that this tip is harder than the concrete, therefore it made a scratch in the concrete. What we're going to do is we're going to continue to work our way down to the number eight. It does the same thing, same results. So we're going to continue to work our way down to our number seven is hardest. Once again, still we're making scratches. The number six, once again, still scratching. We're down to our number five. That was a slight scratch. Now we're down to our number four. Not so much of a scratch. That was more of a surface mark. You can really feel it in your hand and you can feel the abrasiveness of it when it makes a scratch. You could almost do this test blindfolded once you do it enough. So what I'm gonna classify this floor is, it's gonna be a four and a half. Four, four and a half. What does that mean? It means nothing at this point, but Lavina provides a chart here that helps match the bond of the diamond to the hardness of the concrete. Today we scratched a four and a half. That's gonna put us in the gray bond for medium concrete. What this does is it gets you the diamond that's gonna cut the most efficiently um, on the floor that you're working on. If you go one way too much, you may burn up your diamond. If you go the other way too much, your diamond may not cut. So this gets you in the sweet spot of where you need to be as far as your diamonds.